Hi, Keshu here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. Alright, in previous video we saw uh, what are the different types of joints in PySpark and how do we use them with examples. In this video, I'm going to use same examples, but I don't want to create giant query again and again. Rather doing that, I wanted to create a function in PySpark through which I can have the required uh, joints done. All right, so I want to create one function called joints demo. This function should allow three parameters, I mean two data frames, those I want to join and type of joint that I want to perform. In case, for example, I, I pass df1 and df2. In case, if I want to perform inner joint, I need to pass the joint type as inner. If I want to perform left semi joint, I just need to pass the giant type as left semi giant. Of course, in case if uh, giant column in both the data frames is different, and if you want to have that uh, driven dynamically, then you can have even giant key parameter also. But in this case, uh, for both the data frames, the giant key is same, so I'm not passing dynamically through parameter. All right, let's get started. I already connected to Databricks in a community edition and I imported required methods as well and if I can show you the same data that I used in previous uh, video I, this is employee data that I prepared and then this is uh, promotion data let me just create the data again by executing the query and promotion data as well I'm gonna create a data frame that is employee data frame <coughs> and of course let me display the data I got required rows inserted into employee data frame and let me create EMP promotion data frame as well and the data has been displayed all right and these are the joints those I performed in previous video here in a join and uh, in the select list whatever the fields I wanted to display in my output so I selected <coughs> in the same way left outer join outer join left semi whatever right so I don't want to create this giant query again and again. I want to reuse the giant query uh, through the function that I'm going to create. All right. So let me just get started with the function creation. Def. I'm going to name it as joins and three parameters. One is df1, df2, and then joint type so these are the parameters those I need now so here for this inner join of course I can just select whatever the columns I want in the select list for left anti and left uh, semi join I don't need to uh, pass this select query <coughs> so it will give the you know uh, the column list from the left table so uh, for that I wanted to pass a condition in case <coughs> the giant type is left anti or left semi I want to execute different query if the giant type is other than those two I wanted to execute the different type of query so for that I'm just passing one condition as well if what giant type equals to semi then I wanted to execute this course all right in here make sure that indentation is correct yeah, I'm gonna just say df underscore out. I'm just creating one uh, data frame here. Let's say that df underscore out. And in here, the EMP should be the df1 and employee promotion should be the df2. Then, EMP1 dot PID equals to 
1.2.a and here I should not say the giant type whatever the type I am getting through with this parameter alright done in the same way in case this is I am gonna say elif giant type equals to left anti then I want to execute this code fine else else what so else I want to execute this join query with the select list as well all right this is what I want to execute here also df out equals to this in here in place of pmp it should be df1 in place of pmp promotion it should be df2 df1 df2 here again df2 all right i'm just selecting the required field from employee dollars promotion all right and the select list also done now in here again type should not be hard coded it should be from joint up parameter all right it's been done return return what it should return this output all right so let me execute all right it's been executed now let me pass the required inputs and execute the function all right let me execute the function let's see if we are able to you know achieve our requirement so i want to use this function i'm going to pass two inputs df1 df1 that's employee and pmp promotion type of join that i want to perform i'll go for inner join all right it's been executed and let me show the result here <coughs> all right let's see the inner join is being performed and i could see the matching rows from both the tables in case if i want to perform left semi join let's see let me do exactly the way I given in here. It's a case sense too. All right, it's performed left semi giant. Did not give any column from the right table. So that's how our left se left semi giant works. In case if you want to have the required fields from promotion table also, then you can go for left giant and you can specify the columns those you want from. Uh, promotion table as well all right so if i execute same thing in here left semi let me just show you i should get same result all right see employee one two four employee details those are common across both the tables here one two four all right so in case if i don't want the employees those got promoted i want employees those not been promoted so in that case what i can do i can go for left anti join see here so this is how left anti and left semi works even whatever the type of join that you want to perform maybe you can go for left join well, let's see left outer join you could see that those uh, you know records those doesn't have match with the uh, right has got null values populated all right in the same way you can go for full outer chain as well full outer chain see and so likewise you can reuse your chain query and you can perform whatever the chain you want all right so if you observe here i given you know uh, two conditions 
and same query for both the conditions right so rather creating two lines of code for that what I can do I can directly execute that here itself with in condition so I have if join tab in left semi or left anti then perform this so in that case I don't want this elif condition at all so I can just comment these two lines so I can just straight away execute and I can perform same thing here if I go for left semi alright and in same way I can go for left anti as well you can observe here the output for both left semi and anti will be different alright this is how we can create a function and we can dynamically pass the required values through parameter and perform a different types of joins or whatever you know you want to do with your function so this is one example for joins so later we can do you know more functions in future videos all right that's it for today thanks for watching my video please do subscribe for more videos from my side we'll meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you